Hi there, my name is Ashri and welcome back to Gadgetry 16. I use the screen record feature a lot on my PC for all the tips and tricks videos that we make for you. Now honestly, earlier I had no idea how to do that. But now I have found out several ways on how to capture screen on my Windows laptop. And not just for work, you can use the screen recording feature for gaming or sharing content with your friends. So in this video, I will show you three easiest ways on how you can capture screen on your Windows laptop. So let's get started. So the first and the easiest way is to use the Xbox Game Bar feature. Now this is an inbuilt feature by Windows that is designed to record games on your PC. But you can also record other screen activity on your laptop. To use this, you'll have to set up Game Bar first. Just go to Settings, Gaming, Xbox Game Bar and enable Xbox Game Bar Switch. Now if this is already enabled for you, then skip this step. Here you can also change any of the keyboard shortcuts for opening the game bar, starting or stopping the recording and turning on or off the mic. Now open any of the app or window that you wish to screen record. Then open Xbox Game Bar from the search bar or you can also use its shortcut key which is Windows icon plus G. You will now see a pop-up bar at the top. Just click on the captured icon. Now a new window will open in front of you. If you want to record audio as well, then turn on the mic. You can also adjust the volume of your mic. Then finally click on the recording icon to start recording. You will now see a small floating bar in the top right corner of the screen through which you can control the recording. Now to stop the recording, click the recording button on the floating bar. Now once the recording ends, a notification tells you that the clip was recording. Just click on the notification to view your video in the game bar. But just note here that the Game Bar feature does not let you record File Explorer and the home screen on your PC. Another easiest way is by downloading a free app from the Microsoft App Store as these apps are designed for Windows operating system so you won't face any issues while using them. Just go to the Microsoft Store and search for the free screen recording apps. Now you'll find lots of options here. Now there's this app called Screen Recorder and Screen Record. that lets you record for free but this one has a limit of up to 3 minutes. So I usually prefer using the Rexport free screen recorder app. Now this app is quite easy to use and doesn't have any limits. You can also choose a portion of your screen or full window to screen record. You can even mute the speaker or the microphone according to your need. Another great way is to use a screen recording software called OBS Studio. Now it is available for free for Windows, Mac OS and even Linux. So first download OBS Studio on your Windows PC and once it is installed, open it. Now you might find difficulty in using this software in the starting but once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy. Now once it is opened, you will see the preview is a blank screen. Now OBS Studio does not capture any video by default. So to start screen recording, you need to add a source. At the bottom of the window is a box called Sources. Just left click on your mouse and pick the source you want to add. Now select Audio Input Capture and Audio Output Capture if you want to screen record with audio. Once these are added, Select Display Capture to record everything visible on your computer. And if you also wish to screen record while gaming, then you can also add Game Capture option. Now all of these sources once are added will be visible right here. So you can start screen recording. Just hit the screen recording option on the right hand side and when you want to stop, click on Stop Recording. And once your screen recording is done, you can find it using File and then show recordings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section below how do you record your screen on your Windows laptop. And like always, keep following Gadgetry 60 for all things tech. I'll catch up with you in the next video.